welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline, AKA Staying Spooky. Thank you so much for checking back in. If you are a returning subscriber or if you're new here, hi, welcome to the channel. Today, I figured it's been a few weeks since we've been Halloween decor hunting. I'm gonna do a fresh face today. I don't feel like putting on any makeup, so just deal with it. <laughs> Before we go Halloween decor hunting, some of you guys were asking me about my um, new house and kind of like how I'm decorating it and stuff like that. So I wanted to show you guys a brief kind of overview. Sorry if it's a little messy. We had a ton of people over yesterday. I figured I would show you guys really quick. I also need some, ow, I just stepped on Beasley's bone. Oh, on camera, it looks so different. I need some advice on these curtains. I don't know if I like them or if I don't. I love how they're orange. I love how they have pom-poms. My house colors are black and white and orange. So the way I wanted to bring the orange in was through the curtains. I thought that was the easiest way and just like floral arrangements and stuff like that. I don't know, I'll give you guys an overview and then maybe you can tell me in the comments below what you think, if you think I should keep them, if I shouldn't. It was my mother-in-law's idea to like pull them back, which I think made a difference. But I don't know. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick overview and then we'll go Halloween decor hunting. So here is my messy, <laughs> spooky kitchen. I have my little skull guy I got from Tuesday morning. He works great for holding spoons and stuff like that. And I just, I really like him. Um, so yeah, check Tuesday morning. I'm, I think at home has some skulls like this too. Um, I do have a few pot holders that are Halloween hung up which I like. I love how they, the previous owners like left this. So I was like, oh, that's so nice. You don't have to keep digging in a drawer for pot holders. And then my coffee bar, which is again, messy. Love that ad scream and sugar, please. I've showed you guys in a previous video. I got that off of eBay and my little coffee maker, which I don't use this until it becomes cooler outside just cause I can't drink hot coffee until it becomes cooler just cause it is so hot here. And then my little cookie jar. So I like this little setup here. Um, if you were wondering, I do have all my spooky mugs in here. A lot of them are in the dishwasher though. Spooky mugs, other mugs. And then my favorite Halloween towels that I got from TJ Maxx last year. This one I got from Spirit. There is Beasley with her little Halloween collar. Yes, you're so cute. You are so cute. I got this floral arrangement from the Dollar Tree in the fall section and it has like a little pumpkin in it. And I also got the vase. So it was a total of like $5, which I liked. And I was like, that brings in some orange. And then this tablecloth I had in our previous house. And then let me give you the curtain overview. And then you guys can kind of tell me what you think. So they're a lot brighter in person. On camera, they look peach but in person, they're a lot brighter than my little cactus down there. So I don't know, I, it's like I like them and I don't, like, I don't really care. Like, I really just wanted them for decorative purposes, but I like them kind of pulled back. It does make it look a little less intense. Um, I do have my Halloween pillows, that's Beasley's Halloween blanket and then my Salem, Massachusetts map. And I'm gonna add more pictures on the wall. I'm very much a maximalist. I need more stuff on the wall. So um, I'm slowly ordering some pictures, but I think it's gonna be like a whole Salem theme on the wall or like fall. It's this dresser that we got off of Wayfair. Highly would never recommend getting off of Wayfair because it, um, <sighs> Like, just, like, look at this. Like, what? I don't know. It's cute. I like it. I wouldn't return it, but I don't recommend going off a Wayfair. <laughs> the last little Halloween piece I have snuck around the house is this. I don't know if I'm keeping it there or not, but I was like, oh, it's a little shelf. We need something on the shelf. So I'll probably add some pictures around here. 
Um, that's our dining room. It's kind of messy right now, but uh, so yeah, I thought I would give you guys kind of a quick little overview since some of you guys were asking me again, those chairs normally are not there. It's again, just people over yesterday, but I don't know. So you guys can tell me what you think about the curtains. That's really like my biggest, like, I don't know. Like, do I like them? Do I not like them? Do I want them up? Do I not want them up? I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you guys like them or... Like, do you think I could express the color orange through a different way? Like, I know pillow cushions, I could easily do that. I don't want too much orange because too much orange can be a bad thing because it's such a loud color. I don't know. I don't know. Beely's growling at something. I don't know. But let's go Halloween decor hunting. you guys sorry if you can hear the air it is so hot um but we went to home goods i think i i forgot to say we were going to home goods that was our first stop but there was so much halloween they didn't have those salem witchy plates that everyone's raving about i was really sad i was like hoping and hanging on that we would find them but i don't think we're going to um but they had so much stuff they had like a whole aisle of dog toys they had fall wreaths, which were really cute. And I kind of wanted to get some of them because some of them were like branchy and glittery and really cute. But then I was like, where am I gonna put it? They had, of course, a lot of Ray Dunn stuff, a lot of the cups and mugs and all of that, which were super cute. Um, they had placemats. That was something else that I was kind of looking into the tablecloths and placemats, but I was like, mm. Not today. I know they have like a jack-o'-lantern one. And I think the other one was like silver and said Hocus Pocus. There's also, what else did we find? Um, some of these I had to get pictures of and not video of because we got here right when they opened, actually before they opened. And there were starting to be more people and I'm just so self-conscious. I'm like, I don't want people staring at me. I don't want people looking at me while I'm filming. So I'm just going to be a little, fly on the wall over here. So I try to like quickly snap pictures, but they did have bath and body, uh, super cute, some shower curtains. Um, anything I'm missing, I'll insert pictures. Guys, what else? What else did we find? Um, oh, I found this super cool, I may or may not have gotten it, this LED candle and it's like white and it has these witches on it. And it's almost like a Salem 1692 situation. And I'm obsessed. And I was like, I gotta get this for my mantle because it's black and white. It goes with my house. They also had like a pumpkin that said 31 and it lit up, which I thought was really cool. But it was, for me, it was between that or the witch candle. They didn't have any dog collars. I was really hanging on to that they would have some dog collars, but no dog collars. Oh, so like I'm trying to think. There was so much Halloween in there though. 
Uh, I kind of am sick of doing home goods. I know you guys are probably sick of me doing home goods, but they're like the first place to get their Halloween stuff out. And they have really good Halloween stuff for really good prices. So I'll have to do a little haul for you guys. They did have some Halloween, um, what do you call those? Dish mats, that's what those, like drying mats. And I was so excited because I had been meaning to get some of these for Beasley's dog bowls. I was like, she's got Halloween dog bowls, so she has to have some Halloween like placemat underneath to like help the water. And I was like, plus we need one anyway for our drying rack. And I found a pack of two, so I was very excited. I may or may not have gotten some Ray Dunn items. I know you guys are probably sick of the Ray Dunn. Um, there were some gnomes. I'm not a big gnome person. I honestly don't really know anyone that does like them. But if you do, if it's your situation, go to Home Goods because they got a lot of them. Oh, and they also have this really cool Halloween. It was huge. Got like little glass Halloween trick or treat tree that like lights up. They had one like that. And then I think they had one with a jack o lantern that like the jack o lantern was like holding the tree. I debated on getting it, but I was like, don't get it. Like, I'm really trying to be good. I almost got some like Ray Dunn towels that said eek on them and they were so cute. But I was like, get the stuff that you really want and would hate if you left there, you know? So that's kind of what I did do. Some of the things, like there was a Ray Dunn, um, I don't think I got a picture of it, but it was a Ray Dunn bath mat that said Happy Halloween almost got it for our guest bathroom but i again had to make some decisions because it's super expensive so we got some cool stuff i really enjoyed it it was really good i just hate we didn't find those salem witch plates but i was really happy to at least kind of find the salem witchy candle um should we go to michael's i'm sorry if you guys can hear the air i know it's probably so loud but it is 85 degrees and it is 10 45 so it is hot i guess we'll go to michael's let's just see what they have because i have only seen the flags from like y'all or the last video that i filmed for y'all um that's all i've seen at michael's so i really want to see what else they have anything i forgot about at home goods i'll show pictures of uh but they had a lot of good stuff and I highly, highly recommend you go to your local home goods. They have stuff for good prices. So, but it's starting to get busy now. So if you see more pictures and less video of stuff, that is why I don't like to draw attention to myself. I am very much an introvert as you guys know, and I don't want people to look at me. So we're going to go to Michael's and oh, I forgot to tell you guys something funny really quick before we go to Michael's. So I was in home goods and there was this lady and I was like, looking at some Halloween stuff and the girl went down this aisle. First of all, this aisle is so freaking small and I'm carrying a cart, like one of those like little hand carts and she has a big cart. I'm like, can you please not come down this aisle? Like, can you please go around and then just wait till I get off the aisle? Because like I had, like, it was glass stuff. So, and like the shelves were coming out further. So there was no room. So I was like, okay. So then she comes in and she's like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe it's almost fall. And I was like, huh? I know, and like trying to hide like my Halloween basket. She was like, yeah, but it's almost fall. This is ridiculous. I was like, yeah, yeah, it's ridiculous. Hides Halloween decor, I put in basket. Let's go to Michael's, see if they have anything good, but I'm really gonna try not to spend any more money. I really just wanna see what they have, so let's go. Michaels and they had Halloween I you know obviously include the clip before I started talking about it 
Um, I'm really getting Halloween vibes, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but I want to celebrate that in February. I don't want to celebrate that in October, you know? So they had some cool stuff. They had this, I almost got it. Um, it's this canvas of a witch and all these crows and apparently it lights up and I almost got it but I was like oh I've spent enough money today if I really want it you know they have this every year I, I'll come back and get it so that was really cool they had a, also a crow in pearls I thought that was really cute they had some skulls that were like a light pink like glass skulls I want to say the other one was silver I don't think it was red I think it was like silver it was a very girly goth vibe which is just not my vibe so it wasn't something I loved um again anything I'm forgetting I'll include in here but they had some cute stuff again it's just more of what I would get for Halloween not really for Halloween so they did have all the stuff like the picks and stuff to like make your own wreath they had that they had um some really cute halloween ribbon which you know i'll probably end up getting later i really want to go to the dollar tree we're probably not going to do that today i kind of didn't want this to be like a super long vlog which i know you guys have been wanting but it's just harder to edit when they're really long like that like jade the libra she's on another level than me so i i, I can't <laughs> like i don't know i mean if you're into the whole gothic girly vibe go for it but it's not really me i mean maybe i'll pick up a few things for Halloween. um i know the dollar tree there's stuff that they've gotten in some of it looks very Halloween ish and i'm like i'm definitely gonna pick it up so i can do like a Halloween tree this year so that'll be another day though it's 11 o'clock so we've only been at this for an hour that's not bad and then once we get home i'm gonna show you guys what i got uh from home goods I think that's all the stops I want to make today. It's just so many people. <laughs> I'm so much of an introvert. I'm just like, people, why are there so many people? I'm going to go home, chill out. It's probably going to take me a minute to also edit this video. So I also want to get started on that. But yeah, so next time you guys will see me, we will be at home and I'll show you guys everything I got at home goods. All right, you guys, we are back home. It is so hot outside and it almost feels like it's so hot inside <laughs> let's go ahead and get into it another thing i meant to say about michael's was i was thinking i was like some other people's michael's i've seen are had other stuff and so i think this whole girly goth decor or line is just like a piece of it i don't think that's all the halloween so i'm not gonna lose hope just yet but I meant to mention that so but that line's not my favorite it never has but I think they've had it for a few years now not really my thing but again it's also really good for Halloween purposes so always got to be thinking for the next holiday that you want to turn spooky while it is spooky season <laughs> home goods the first thing I'm pulling out see I love doing these hauls in these videos I just think it's easier and then you guys can actually see what I went and bought. So if you're wondering, why is she doing a haul? I just like doing it. To me, it seems like just, I don't know. I don't want to edit a whole separate video, you know? So the first thing I got was something that was actually on my list. And the uh, dish drying mats with non-slip backing. So... I really love these. I thought it was so cute. And Beasley's bowls are black, so I thought this would be perfect. So yes, the whole reason I bought these was for dog bowls. But since it came with two, we also do need one under our dish drying rack because we just use a towel, like a dish towel. So this will be a lot nicer, but it is kind of plushy. But it's so cute. All the little ghosts. I love it. It's so cute and they're all happy because it's their favorite holiday. <laughs> Excited. And I think I tried to give y'all, I just, I threw the pricing everywhere. These were only like $7.99. I like, I remember, I think I was looking at these and I was like, I bet they want $9.99 for these. No, $7.99. To me, that is not bad. 
compare it eleven dollars. They weren't that expensive. You can always, like I said, use these for your pet bowls, you see your dishes, or even like on your makeup table. I feel like you could put this on if you don't want like the powder and everything. There's so many things you can do with these. So, oh, I love these. Here is this cool spooky candle. And it's so funny because my mother-in-law, when she came over yesterday, she was like, you know what you should do for your fireplace is you should take, if you're not going to use it, you should take all the stuff like out of it and put like Halloween LED candles on the inside of it. And she was like, you could get one that's kind of like, you know, black and orange and black and white. And so when I saw this, I instantly thought back to that moment, but I had to have this y'all. It is so flipping cool. It was $9.99 to me, it's a little, is that pricey? I guess for a big size LED candle, and I love the company 13th and Elm, but how cool is this? It's a witch and a spider and crows and branchy trees and cats. Oh my gosh, it's just like everything everything you could ever want. So this is definitely gonna go on my mantle. Honestly, this is probably gonna be a year round thing for me. Okay, that took a lot of effort to get this out, but I think, you know, you probably already have to put batteries in it. The only bad thing, I didn't, I thought this was more plasticky, but this actually feels more waxy. Bad thing about these, and I think I was just an idiot. I had one of these, I don't know if you guys remember it, but it was like three little jack-o'-lanterns stacked on top of each other and I got it from at home. Yeah, I kept that in a box out in the garage and it melted and then in the middle of moving, I accidentally left it in the car. It melted completely. So if you're gonna get one of these, make sure you store it in a cool place because it will melt, but Oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this. It was worth the money because I really do love this. And I'll put this like in the spooky bathroom. But it's it just really reminded me of Salem, the old Salem vibes. And since we didn't find the plates in the bowls, I had to get something. But um, I don't have any batteries down here with me. So I don't want to like waste y'all's time. But if I think about it and put a battery in it, then I might put it like a picture of it in here. But I just absolutely love this and could not leave it there so it's super cool super spooky vibes i have no idea what theme i'm gonna do my mantle this year maybe i'll do it like salem-y witchy theme i don't know i don't know this one is for beasley so you guys know i get her um a halloween toy every year most of the time i get her two and uh this is silly sound for more fun and this was 3.99 i was gonna get her I don't know if I showed a picture of it, but it was like a caramel apple, a candy corn. It had like these weird faces on it and it was like $10. And I was like, oh, I don't really need to be spending $10 on dog toys. <laughs> I think she's excited. So I'm going to go and give this to her. So I'm not mean, but that is what he looks like. Super cute. All right, B. <laughs> There you go. This item was one that I really wanted to get because I didn't get it last year and I just started becoming a coffee drinker last year. I really was never a coffee person ever. And then the winter time came and I was like, oh, it's so nice because it keeps you warm and it's just so cozy. And I don't really have a lot of tumblers to put the coffee in. And I think during the move, I might've lost some like lids and stuff like that, like for hot drinks. So I found this one. I was like, should I get the big one or the small one? I started with the small one because it was the most expensive. It was $10. The big one was 15. If I go back and decide, I Beasley, come on now. Go back and decide I want the bigger one, then I'll get it. But I liked the smaller one. So it's the Ray Dunn Witch's Brew um, Stainless Steel Cup. Is this dishwasher safe? Dang it, it's hand wash only. Honestly though, most of my coffee cups are. I do have to hand wash them, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, this does say to hand wash it, I'm sure because they're writing, but I just loved the black and orange and I love the little handle. And I don't know, I think it's a good size like for some coffee in the morning. So I really like it and I really wanted to get it. Um, they had a lot of other cute ones. I don't know if I got video or pictures of them. Again, I was trying to be a little 
fly on the wall at home goods but uh oh i love this so much i'm so glad i got it one thing about home goods they always wrap up everything so well we're gonna talk about this i'm gonna show it to you guys and then we're gonna talk about why i got it because i mentioned it in the car so it is the eek mug that i have been wanting sorry the ring lights kind of going against it but it's the ray dunn eek mug i was so excited and then I saw a gnome on the top of it. And I'm just not a gnome person. Honestly, I do have another Ray Dunn mug that has a topper. And I can honestly say I never use the topper for it ever. And so I was like, I mean, if I get this Eek mug, I'll probably never use the uh, gnome topper. Like, I'm, I'm probably just going to throw it away. Like, I just don't like the gnomes. You guys, I forgot to mention... I, when I was at Michael's, literally, they were putting out Christmas stuff. I literally saw some Christmas and I wanted to throw up because I was like, wait a minute now. It's okay if Halloween comes early, but Christmas, can we can we keep it where it's supposed to be, please? I did find the Eek mug, you guys remember, I don't know if you guys remember me saying it, but I really wanted a Ray Dunn Eek mug. I have had, oh my gosh, you guys. So if you guys remember my... What video was it? My um, Halloween wish list video. I was like, I'm gonna get like one or two mugs. You guys, I've gotten, this is my fifth one. And they're all Ray Dunn. So we haven't even hit like the other ones yet. These are just the Ray Dunn ones. <laughs> Honestly, we have more cabinet space now, so it's not as much of a problem, but still. But I just love this mug. I had to get it. I was like, it's $15, and I know that's because of the topper, but I just really, really, really wanted this mug, so I'm so happy I found it. That is all the things that I got today at Home Goods. I'm trying to, we haven't been Halloween decor hunting in a minute. I'm just trying to kind of save my money, watch my money, um, and pretty much if I take myself to go Halloween decor hunting and be like, oh, you can't buy any of it, that's like literally dangling meat in front of a lion's face and saying you can't eat it <laughs> that's why it's been so long since i've done one of these videos i'm gonna do more of these i can't wait till i can do a spirit halloween one i've been sending or i've been seeing signs over instagram and posts and everything that it's gonna be coming soon it should be coming this month isn't it it's already august that's crazy you guys like i just i can't believe it like i feel like we're still maybe in like june I don't know, but this is all the stuff I got today. This was mainly like the stuff I knew I was going to use and want throughout the year at the same time. So it's more important stuff I got, but there was so much cute stuff at home goods, y'all. Like it's, oh my gosh, but I don't know when we're going to do another one of these videos, but we will definitely do another one soon especially maybe spirit we'll just do it like we'll like dedicate just a video to spirit that store i'm not going to feel as weird filming in because they're probably expecting it but i don't know home goods and i'm just like don't look at me there's actually people looking at the halloween stuff which normally like this early people aren't looking at halloween so it was kind of interesting but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog this video tell me what you think about my curtains from the beginning tell me what you what item of one of these was your favorite or an item you're looking for are you also looking for those witchy plates that home goods is putting out and everyone's raving about have you found them if you have found them if you've seen them i will buy them from you I'm being serious, like, <laughs> if you have found them, because I want those plates or just the bowls so bad. And I know if I, like, look on eBay now, they're going to be, like, $2,000. Okay, not really $2,000, but they're going to be super expensive. Another thing I meant to mention, I am planning or wanting to do a and a video at some point. So if you guys would like to see that, Submit a question in like my Instagram inbox or you can just submit a question down below in the comments and I'll try to make a whole video out of that because I thought that's something else that would be fun to do. So I don't know. If you guys are into that, cool. 
If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I definitely want to expand this spooky family on my channel because I love it and you guys are so supportive. You guys are awesome and amazing and I just want to keep growing it as much as we can. But thank you guys so, so, so much for watching and until next time, stay spooky. Bye guys.